Welcome to the Southeast Rail Countries. Today we're at an old mill that was rebuilt in 1870 and it is uh, built on top of a pre Civil War. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of Southeast Relic Hunters. Today, I'm under a mill. Uh, building you saw in the intro, it's actually a mill that was built 1870 on the on the site of a of another mill that was pre-Civil War. I don't remember when it was built, but we're under the newest portion of it right now. And uh, what I understand, this mill ran all the way well into the 1900s. So we have uh, permission out here through Bob and Jeffrey. Uh, Preston's here as well. He brought his friend Wyatt. We'll catch up with them later. There's actually a general store just up above us from the mill here. And Preston and Wyatt are in the crawl space under that, seeing what they can find. From what I understand, they've actually found a couple things pretty cool already. So we'll catch up with them shortly. I'm going to start looking around under this thing, do some exploring and uh, finding anything interesting I'll bring out, let you take a look. Well, I can tell you any metal detecting is going to go on under the mill. Really got to crank up the discrimination on the detector because there's nails and everything else just everywhere. So, I mean, this, this thing, they kept it going for well over a hundred years, so. It is pretty neat. Guy that owns it now, it's a historical site, but he does his best to take good care of it. I see a piece of a Coca-Cola bottle back there. I have to go check that out. Looks broken from here, but there's no telling what might pop up. Uh, when we get down to the older section, which is beyond all that down there, Probably do a little more thorough exploring, dig around a little bit and see what we can, see if we find anything cool. So I'm using my AT Max and I've got the discrimination up to about 40. Uh, still probably gonna raise that up even more. It's a lot of this big stuff's just... But anyway, I've been working the, these dirt areas that are kind of open to discrimination out. Had a, found several bottle caps, but right here, a little signal here and flipped it up and got my first coin of the day. And that looks like a buff. That is definitely a buffalo nickel in wonderful condition. So, well protected under here. I haven't found a buffalo in a long time. Good condition as far as dug. I know the coloration on it's not very pretty, but that side's, you can at least make out buffalo. I'll see if I can get a date. Normally the date's first thing that you lose on these things, on the buffaloes. And I'll have to, have to get it in the light, I'll let you know. Preston came down to visit me, nobody's seen you yet, say hi. Hi. You got him a harmonica reed up there. So that's pretty cool. Here, you didn't see what I got over here. Oh, where'd it go? All over right there. Where? Over on that log. Over here, Preston. Look at a buffalo. Yeah, oh. buffalo. There's our arch enemy <laughs> sickle cell mower blade. That's cool. Door hinge, bolts, mix and max, some old glass. I found a, and, uh, found a piece of a wagon. Just dug that up. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Just kidding. It's in good shape. But yeah. nothing through here. I checked the walls, so 
Somebody's probably already picked through all that and pulled everything out. I found. Oh, that was my head. <laughs> you found a board. I found a board. It's right here. Right there. Anyway. I found a wheat penny, a hairbrush, a bunch of buckles. Like a little metal brush, yeah. right? Yeah, the old style. That was cool. Just comb. Might be like a straightening comb or something. Who invented the, not invented, who perfected the straightening comb? Do you remember? No. It was on a one of our favorite people to watch because he gives some history lessons sometimes. Aqua Chigger told us about who came up with a straight madam cj walker she was the first female self-made millionaire african-american in the For united states a, she she perfected the straightening comb so you might have found a piece of one that'd be pretty cool huh mm -hmm. all right good job keep going where's wyatt uh he's up he's right there there's wyatt find that gold there's supposed to be gold around here a jar of gold. That's all Jeffrey knows. Did Jeffrey tell you the story? No. There's, a, there's an old wives' tale in this town, which I don't think I've told him. We're about 45 minutes away from Knoxville. That there, there were some camps in the area, and there's an old story where a jar of gold was hidden and never found. Just like every other city that ever had a Civil War soldier pass through it. But, hey, if it's here, we're going to find it. Yeah. Go find my gold. <laughs> I'll let you keep a piece. <laughs> That's Wyatt. Wave to everybody, Wyatt. Bye. Stop hiding behind the boards. And not an old wives' tale. This is actually truth. Uh, the owner of this property, I believe Bob said it was his dad, right out in this water here, found a... Uh, saber so at least the movement through here i haven't seen anything that we haven't found anything civil war related that we know of but you never know all right we'll be back with you jeffrey got a pretty cool little pond there it's neat yeah you'll be able to get that moving very cool That's not good. <laughs> it's wet. That's where I pulled up under there. Oh, I gotta stand up. I ain't coming out. Look at that dry. Penny size. What's that dry? Oh, it's come over here to lock. 18. you see that? Well, when you turned it, there was a little bit of a, a reflection. You yeah. see it easier. 18 something oh. 90. So this was the old general store. And I'm going under it. It's anywhere currency was trading hands if they dropped any might have made it down there or anything else that might be cool it's like a lot of junk to sift through but we'll give it a shot alright here we go oh yeah that's there's room to stand up down here. Finding anything's gonna be. There's a lot of junk. Old wood timbers. Uh. We'll give it a shot. We'll see what's down here. Well, some old stuff down here. I get back over in there. It's the best spot to. See if we can sift something out.
What do you suppose might be living back there? It goes on back. My first find. It's the spoon. Not too old. I believe I found a branding tool. Yep. Horseshoe. That's interesting. Very cool. See that every day. Right down there, see the ceiling. I can stand up here anyway. I got me another Indian. And I believe that says 1903. Back's pretty, back's pretty white. I do believe that's going to be a little flat button. Yep, I feel a shank on it. So nothing on the front, but definitely an older button. That's cool. Doing pretty good under the general store. Not too bad. I came out from under the general store and started working this field over here. And that big boy, that's a nice one. Good shape. Surprised we haven't found many of these today. Quite a bit of stuff from the mill. A few coins, mostly stinking Lincolns and a couple Indians, Buffalo. Oh, what'd you get there? Another coin. A dime. Another, a dime? 1961. 1961 dime? Silver then, isn't it? Should be silver. I, I don't, I don't it think is. so. It doesn't look like it. I'll check that. Maybe not. I don't know. 363. Okay. Wyatt got him a nice old marble. Some cool odds and ends. Preston's comb. I think those are too close together to be a straightening comb, but still a really old comb. So that's cool. The old, old horseshoe. Mule shoe. Mule shoe. <laughs> branding thing so all in all not bad you have fun yeah good Sun's bright sun is bright yeah. it does that you forgot my find. oh yeah jeffrey found a coat for missing a <laughs> coat come get it thanks for watching <laughs> almost forgot why it found a license plate you can actually make out the date here 1923 so tennessee that's cool. That's a cool play. Good job, buddy. I'm just... Go. <laughs> Welcome to Southeast Rolling Hunter. Today we're at an old mill that was rebuilt in 1873. Uh, hi, welcome to Relic... Welcome to Southeast Rolling Hunter. Today we're on 